What's happening, YouTube? Phil from MDC. I've got a few things to look at. Like I said, I've got some green light, I've got some Johnny Lightning, and I've got some Inno 64. I have these Tulsa Rama 57 Plymouth Belvedere. I have the unearthed version, real dirty. And I have the clean version. Which is pretty cool. The uh, Hobby Shop exclusives. Uh, we'll uh, take a good look at these. Also, I have... For the first time, I have this 1982 Ford Mustang GT. I do not have a version of this casting anywhere in my collection. So, green light will be the first one. And we'll take a close look at this. This is from the Vintage Ad Cars Series 3. This one is a 2020 release. These here are 2020 releases as well. Okay. So they're a little bit older. Maybe uh, most of you have seen them. Uh, maybe not. I picked up this Johnny Lightning. Looks exactly like Brian's car in the first Fast and Furious. Now, I'm not 100% sure if it is. It's been a while that movie has uh, been out. But I think this is an exact replica of his uh, car done the Johnny Lightning way. All right. This is also a sp special edition. Limited to one of 2400, 2400. Miho exclusive. Okay. So this is Johnny Lightning. We'll crack this guy open. And then also I have this NO64 Nissan Skyline. R32 looks pretty cool got a playboy livery looks pretty cool so we'll get this guy open as well so yeah okay we've got a few cars to look at we've got five cars to look at so let's get to it crack them open and I think we'll start off with this I think we'll start off with this Johnny Lightning no you know what we're going to start off with the NO64 okay so we're going to start off with this guy. Get this guy open. And there she is. Okay. The case case looks like it's all scuffed up package rub nah, that's not bad anyway that's what the case is for right so here it is macau gp 2020 collection Looking good. Very busy deco, but you expect that for a race car. Okay, let's get it on the turntable. Get you guys set up. There it is, guys. NO64. Nissan Skyline. Awesome detail. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. The back window has the lines for the defrost. You know, you have your front and rear deco, and the car is loaded with decos. So that's pretty cool about uh, NO64 and Mini GT and all that. Yes, they're a little bit more expensive, but they don't shy out on anything. I mean, this is really, really well detailed that you even have the tow hook in the front. Do you guys see it? It's really small, and I'm sure extremely fragile. I don't want to touch it, but it does have the tow hook. Crazy, 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 crazy. Okay, you do have a, I think it's a plastic base. No, it's a metal base. You do have a metal base, rubber tires. Awesome pipe sticking out the side. Doesn't roll at all. The interior is just phenomenal. You see that? You have the shifter. 
Okay, you have uh, their, their, their pieces are painted black, dash is black, white interior. I mean, this thing is detailed to the max. Okay, it's a beautiful looking car. Playboy livery. JC Motorsport on the back. This car looks great. Awesome looking car. Awesome looking race car. Just loving it. Okay, let's take a look at this Mitsubishi Import Heat Johnny Lightning. Okay. Uh, right. 2004 Mitsubishi Lancer Evo. Okay. This is one of 2400. Okay. MJ Toys. Yeah, I, I really wonder if this is Brian's car. If, if anyone can correct me or tell me for sure. But I think it looks exactly like Brian's car. So if it is. We'll pay a little bit of tribute to Brian as well at the same time, guys. Rip Paul Walker. Well, this is really tight to open. The box inside is like pressed right against the plastic on the outside. So it makes it really hard to get it open. But we're getting there. We're getting there, guys. We're getting there. Here we go. So here it is. Okay, it comes in this box, all uh, all secure inside. Get the bottom. It's almost like a ID box. Looking pretty cool. Okay, let's get it open. I don't think you guys care much about the box. I think Hot Wheels did Brian's car, didn't they? They did the uh, the Lancer Evo. I'm gonna pull that one out. And we'll take a look. Compare. Wow, it's a heavy casting. Okay, Johnny Lightning. It's metal on uh, metal. Rubber tires. It's a very heavy casting. And it looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. The wheel choice is pretty decent. I'm not sure if the back end is uh, correct or not. It does look a little short in the back end. In my opinion, anyways. But the car does look great. Look at this paint. The paint is awesome. Even the striping is, is well done. You have the front headlight detail. Back detail. Black interior. Good looking car. Good looking car. Let's pull out the Hot Wheels. Where are you? Here's the Hot Wheels version. You see, now this is why it's throwing me off, guys. This is the Hot Wheels version. And I think this one is supposed to be Brian's car because it was in the Fast and the Furious box. And the deco almost wants to look the same, but it's not. Okay. So I'm not sure which one is more politically correct. The Hot Wheels or the Johnny Lightning. I'll have to check the internet for that and check out Brian's car. But, very nice, very nice. I must say, Johnny Lightning does do a good job. But, as like I told you, that, that back end, I think, kind of bothers me a little bit. I think that back end's a little too short. It looks like it's been uh, squished in from the back. But, overall, it's a pretty nice casting. Pretty nice. But guys, seriously, somebody uh, let me know in the comments if uh, the Hot Wheels one or the Johnny Lightning one is, is closer to Brian's car. Or if any of them look like uh, Brian's car. Let me know. Next, we're going to open up this green light 82 Ford Mustang GT. Okay, this is a casting I think is awesome. It's, it's a car I think is awesome. Uh, 
this Mustang, I uh, always found it uh, pretty cool. And uh, we're going to see if uh, we got lucky getting a green light piece that's in great shape. Or if it has issues. Hopefully not, because uh, it's the only version of this casting I have in my collection. So hopefully we get a good one. Let's crack it open. And here we are. Oh boy, she's tight. Oh boy, she's tight. Okay, there it is. There it is. And there she goes. All right. Now it looks all right. I see a few issues already with it, which I guess kind of throws me off a little bit, but uh, yeah. Yeah, no, maybe not. Uh, this side looks okay. I think it's this side here. You see that back window? Looks like it has a bit of a gap. Too much of a gap. No, maybe I'm being picky. Maybe I'm being, maybe I'm just being a little too picky. Okay. Metal base, rubber tires. Nice red paint job. Trying to see if the hood opens, guys. Just bear with me two seconds. Sorry to take it off screen. And she does. Okay, so you do have engine detail, which is pretty cool. You have a two-tone colored engine detail with the chrome uh, air filter. So that's pretty nice. That's pretty well done. I like this casting. I think it looks pretty good. You do have a bit of gap in the window and uh, on the top roof. doesn't look 100% uh, level. But I'll be honest with you, the car looks a lot better than I thought it was going to look. So this is good. You got front detail. I think that's a front inserted piece, which is kind of weird for the headlights. But other than that, it looks pretty good. Wheel choice is awesome. I mean, it's the original wheels that came with the car. It looks just like that, so. Bone stock. Back details. Looks good. Not bad at all. Didn't get a dud. We got something decent. You have the rear view mirrors, which is kind of cool. It's just that roof piece. Kind of bothers me a little bit. You guys can't really see it. It doesn't line up at the back of it 100%. There's a gap. I don't think it's supposed to come off. No, I'm not going to break it either. Okay, anyway, that's that. So there you go. That's the green light Ford Mustang 82. 82 or 84? I don't remember now. I guess the 82, right? Okay, next, 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 we're going to take a look at these Plymouth Belvedere's, 1957. Okay, we've got a clean version and a dirty version, which is pretty awesome. I like when they do these dirty version cars. It looks pretty cool. You can always uh, put them in a diorama. So, you know what? First, we're going to open up this awesome clean version. Okay, we'll take a look at this guy. Tulsa Rama. I don't know why they call it Tulsa Rama. Like, is it Tulsa in the U.S. or I'm not sure. And here you go. Okay, metal base, metal body. This one we have a number on it, one twenty-eight. Nope. And there she is. The Belvedere, guys. 57 Plymouth Belvedere. Big car, heavy casting. Again, you got full detail, chrome bumpers, backlights, license plate. Awesome choice of white wall tires. Front detail. 
white top roof nice grill pretty cool pretty cool now we check the dirty version Wow, this thing's insane. This is really, I mean, this car feels like I've, that they've left it out, left it out for a long time. This actually feels like it, guys. It's really rough. The paint is really, really rough. Look at that. Rotted out, rotted out. Actually really cool. It's done really well, you know. I must say, Greenlight did a good job on rotting this car out. But it does feel like it's been left out. Look at that. Even the mud on the windows. I mean, that's that's really... That's a lot of detail to get it dirty like that. That's a lot of detail. Wow, that's sweet. Really sweet. Anyways, there you go, guys. Some green light, some Johnny Lightning, and Inno 64. I must say, I think the Inno 64 takes the cake for today. Not just because it's a skyline, but because she looks good. She really looks good. Anyways, guys, till next time. Be safe, be well, and thanks for watching. Until next time, happy hunting, guys. Bye.